Hello again, this is Janet. And Joe. With Grow Shop. And this is the ninth video in our How to Choose an Electric Motor series. We're gonna take everything we've discussed and apply it in three scenarios with varying levels of customized motors. Any motor will work for most applications, but there's usually only one or two types that are best. Sometimes the choice is clear, but other times you'll need to weigh the priorities. First up is a cooling pump for an MRI machine. The designers were looking for a minimum of 50,000 hours of operation with a goal of 100,000. The pump was magnetically coupled to the motor, giving the motor a nice smooth load with low vibration. But the standard motor was having trouble meeting the life specifications. Let's look at the quick reference motor chart. Remember the importance of prioritizing your application criteria? That's what we've done here, highlighting the characteristics that meet the application requirements. A brush type DC motor wouldn't meet the life requirements, but the AC and BLDC motors would meet or exceed all the criteria. Since the application didn't need the high starting torque or variable speed of a brushless DC motor, the AC motor was the cost competitive solution. With the help of Grow Shop engineers, a permanent split capacitor AC motor was chosen. We worked with a bearing manufacturer to choose a lubricant and method for securing the outer bearing race to increase its life and the life of the motor. We also realized that capacitor life could be an issue. A low cost solution was found by selecting a standard capacitor with a higher voltage rating. Let's move to the next example. A tool manufacturer was designing a cellulose insulation blower that homeowners could use themselves. This unit needed to be portable, compact, and lightweight. The tool required a one and a half horsepower motor to drive both the high speed blower fan and the insulation agitator. The manufacturer had already designed the system around a standard motor, but was having failures because the motor couldn't stand up to the high vibration levels. An additional challenge of this application was to keep the motor operating within the 15 amp current limit so it could be plugged into an average household circuit. Let's look at the quick reference motor chart again. Occasionally, we come across an application where none of the motor types meet all of the application criteria. This is when prioritizing is essential. In these situations, we decide which criteria are most important and go with the motor that will meet the highest priority items first. Maintaining the required power and speed while keeping the package size small was critical to the success of this project. This made a universal motor the clear choice. Although the customer preferred a quieter motor style, other performance characteristics were more important. A standard frame size was used by designing a housing and footing mount to make a drop-in replacement for the existing motor. A more robust commutator was also used to limit vibration. The customer saw a sharp reduction in failure rates plus a good increase in service life with the new motor design. These two applications are prime examples of this simple truth. You don't have to settle for an off-the-shelf motor to use in your product. Simple modifications can be made to a standard motor to create a custom design for a non-standard application. Our final example comes from the automotive industry, so you can be sure reliability is essential. The motor is used on an automatic transmission for motor coaches. Failure of this motor would leave the vehicle stranded, causing a potentially dangerous situation for passengers. The application required a high-performance gear motor with a fail-safe system built in. The customer envisioned a motor with a backup winding inside the armature that could be engaged in the event of a primary winding failure. In addition, the motor is exposed to grit, water, salt, and other environmental factors, so it needed to be well protected. If you look at the highlighted quick reference chart, you'll see it looks like there's only one motor that meets all the application criteria, but in this case, the data is a bit deceptive. The chart suggests that a brushless DC motor would be the ideal choice, and in terms of performance, it was. Brushless DC motors have high starting torque and naturally run on DC power, but the motor would have required a fairly expensive control that wasn't appropriate for this application. A significant factor that leads us to a DC motor solution was the intermittent runtime of the motor, with very short on times. With the short duty cycle of the application, there were no concerns about the DC motor brushes wearing out, even in a long life application. The final solution was a DC right angle gear motor with a two commutator armature and custom designed gear housing. This motor was tested extensively throughout the design cycles by both GrowShop and the manufacturer, and it continues to be tested extensively throughout production. There are hundreds of thousands of these motors on the road today with minimal failures. This is a great example of a blank sheet custom design. Although a standard frame size was still used, 
the IP rating, custom gear housing, and fail-safe requirements called for a fully custom design. Coming up is the last video in our How to Choose an Electric Motor series. We'll be discussing some of the engineering tools we've developed to help make motor selection less daunting. For more information about GrowShop, to read more case studies, or find out about our products, check out our website at www.growshop.com.